on the front of the Nikon Coolpix A1000, there's a button that is marked FN for function. It's the function button. Now I've had my camera for the better part of a year and never in all that time did I even wonder what that button was for. I haven't missed it, haven't felt like I needed it, and got along just fine without it. And you will too. However, let's see if we can figure out what that button does and why they put it on the camera. First, let me refer you to the user's manual. What it does is it, it takes you to the options available via the menu button for P, S, A, and M modes. And it only works in those modes. The first thing we need to do is we need to set our camera, the mode dial on top, into either P, S, A, or M. Those are the only modes that the function button works. So let's push the function button. When you push the function button, uh, this is where you'll first end up is the continuous shooting mode menu. Sometimes if you've previously set something, when you push the function button, you'll go back to what you've previously set. Wherever you end up, if you scroll down to the function button and select OK, that will take you to the, the main menu for the function button. The top one is continuous shooting mode, ISO sensitivity, AF area mode, vibration reduction, image quality, image size, white balance, metering, and back to continuous. If we select continuous, you have a single shot, continuous H, continuous M, continuous L, interval timer sheeting, and the function button. And there are uh, three other options here. They're grayed out right now because I am in one of the raw modes, so these options are not available. The pre-cache option, 120 frames per second and 60 frames per section burst mode, those aren't available when you're in raw. So let's change that. Go back to the main menu. Image quality. See, raw plus fine. So if we go to fine, select that. Then we'll go down to the function button. Go back into continuous mode. And now we have pre-shooting cache, 120 frames per second and 60 frames per second available. If we go into interval timer shooting, we can set the uh, minutes and seconds for the interval that we want it to shoot at. In the seconds, you have a choice between 0 seconds and 30 seconds, so that's your choice. Whenever you choose an option, it will show up over here on this side. So here's your interval timer. To turn any of these options off, go back to the function button, go into continuous, and select single, and that puts you back into the default mode and there's there's no no options over here on the left side now let's let's compare that with using the menu button let's press the menu button and you have image quality image size white balance metering continuous iso Exposure bracketing is something that's not available via the function button. AF area mode, autofocus mode, noise reduction filter, M exposure preview. I don't think that's available on the function button. Is autofocus mode? I don't think that's available either. As you can see, everything that is available via the function button is available through the menu button, plus a few others are available through the menu button. So that's about it. 
I don't think I'll go through each option in detail in this video because this is simply about using the function button.